tomorrow. This is going on the channel tomorrow. Aye, yeah, YouTube. Welcome back to the main channel. What's your boy? We got speaking. We got B Ellis one v one scouting report. Uh, a lot of people tagged me in this on Instagram. A lot of people said to react to this in my live community post to say I was going live. If you're not in the live, we go live Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays from eight to twelve. Um, also, if you guys are interested in some Never Be Defeated merch and to be a part of the mentality, please hit the link in the description to get you some Never Be Defeated merch. We work hard on these, some dry fish shirts. I've gotten really good reviews from everybody that's bought in one, so do what y'all got to do, man. I'm trying to figure out a way to ship internationally, too. I got to talk to my homie, my homeboy about that. But let's get to this video, man. Hit the like button on this video. Try to get 60K subs. Let's get to it. You know why I'm here. I ain't gonna lie. That's a carry. But in the world that we live in playing ones, I'm carrying that bit. Sorry. That's a me. That's a sexy carry. That's like Mariah carry. That's like, uh, let's talk about it. Uh, that's like, uh. That's like Neil Long in the 90s uh, in, in Fresh Bench of Bel Air. That's like Gabrielle Union in uh, Bring It On. That's just a beautiful carry. This is B. Ellis. The Never Be Defeated CEO has the rare designation of being both a coach and a player. After playing coach, player, trainer. In some college basketball. Commentator. Every aspect of basketball is covered here. Basketball at LSUA. B. Ellis went back to his hometown of Lafayette to coach high school basketball. He broke into the limelight after cooking cash nasty in ones and has since gone on to appear in both Ball is Life and The Next Chapter. I want to give a shout out to Next Chapter and Ball is Life for bringing me on those platforms. I would never think I'd be doing this when I finished college and to see that putting my young bulls on, giving them a 30-episode docuseries led to a video with Cash, led to me meeting Frigga, led to me meeting Scotty, led to me meeting the AK dude that runs Ball is Life, led to me meeting all these great guys in the community. Uh, I would have told you hell no. So, um, yeah, I, I'm still, I move, I move, I move like I'm still at 500 subs. That's how I move, bro, because y'all know how I feel, bro. This stuff could be taken away at a flick of an eye. Organizing for the how game how has prompted me to scout the strengths and weaknesses in his one-on-one -on -one game. If you pay attention, you could avoid ending up like this guy. No, I'm not, that's my, that's my dog, Keelan. That's my dog, Keelan. Don't, I'm not playing by my dog, Keelan. I'm fast forwarding that, bro. That's my dog. That's off. What the is you talking about? So out of all the signature moves I've covered so far, B. Ellis' hook shot is my favorite. It's oh, that's love, Hoop Prospects. Thank you. You're running hook at all in today's game, never mind from a smaller guard. So it really stands out anytime he goes for it. He obviously has put in a lot of work to add the move to his bag. He can perform the hook going both left and right, alternating both his footwork and the timing of his release. Watch here as Bielis goes into the left hook straight after the double cross, shooting off of his left foot. The degree of difficulty on this move. I think that that move is acquirable for any guard. That's why I keep telling y'all, you can. Nah, I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna preach in this video. I'm not going to preach. I'm going to shut the hell up. Gave him my best move right there. B. Ellis also has a polished mid-range game. A lot of the guys I've scouted seem to live either in the paint or at the three-point line. But Coach has a variety of moves to create space off the dribble. He has a great fadeaway out of the mid post and can shoot the ball off both his right and left shoulder. If you play up on the fade, he has the footwork to step through for a floater. And even against good defense, he has this knack for knocking down unconventional shots. Get your ass in there, get run me my fade, all of y'all that, bro, J. Lou, Nathan, D. Allen. Run me my fade. 
Bucket, bucket, bucket. Bro, run me, my. Hey, bro. Oh my God, run me, my. Ellis is also a great perimeter shooter. He shoots a lot like Mike Conley. Not Hell he no. Kind of look like. Hell no. No. No, I don't, bro. Him, but and I have no knock on Mike Conley, but I don't watch none of. The, I don't. I don't shoot like Mike Conley. with extremely quick releases. Watch how fast B. Ellis elevates and releases the ball. J. Lou doesn't even have a chance to put a hand up before the ball is in the air. He seems to heat up pretty quickly and will knock down several jumpers in bro, a row if you let him get going. Bro, y'all caught me playing friendly hoops, bro. And once he's on, that's, I'm well, that's, that stuff Uncle Scoob said. That stuff Uncle Scoob said is a real thing. That friendly hoops when you go on Frickmas, it's like a brotherhood, and all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, it's real. Well, good luck. His final strength is his passion for the game. You're not going to want it more than B. Ellis. As a coach and motivator of younger players, he shows a supreme confidence in his skills and the work he has put into his game. That's an offensive foul. Jesus Christ. Supreme Love confidence you, Nate. in his skills. And Love you, Nate. <laughs> hey, let me put my stuff back where it was, fam. Love you, Nate. Love you, Brody. But that is definitely an offensive foul. As much as I support you. I am a realist. I am going to tell the truth. That is an offensive foul. And the work he has put into his game. Dang! You'll never want to play me again. You'll never want to come back. You'll never want to come back. You'll never want to come back. You'll never, want to come back. You'll never ask me again. This confidence allows him to come back from deficits early on in games and allows him to compete with some Don't. of the most oh, skilled guards you, on the platform. Thank you, thank you, for not doing that. You can't take your foot off the gas when playing B. Ellis. 14. The game. Moving on to weaknesses, B. Ellis does have some limitations on the defensive side of the ball. He's a smaller guard, and while he's strong, there's not much he can do to prevent bigger players from bullying their way to the paint. But even on the perimeter, he often gets caught out of position. Here against Will, you see him pressing at damn near half court with his lead foot way too high. As a coach, I'm sure if he saw his own player defending like this, he would have to bench him or at least tell him to back so up. So here's why I disagree with you about the defense part, right? If you look at this score, and here's my thing about this, this particular 1v1. I've never played four dribbles in my life, right? And I'm not getting mad. I'm not going to get mad. This is his, this is his opinion. I'm still going to break it down. Um... This is a four dribble one, one v one, right? Oh yeah, I did it at Frigmas, and that was, that's so. This is my second time really doing it. I don't really play four dribbles, so I'm adjusting to what Will is doing. The score is 17-4 here. It was a 15-4 halftime lead, and I go on a 29 to 10 run, and I wasn't making all my shots on that 29 to 10 run. I, I I didn't go on a 29 to 10 run to where it's like five straight trays made. No, it was bucket, stop, miss. Stop, bucket, bucket, stop, miss, stop, miss, stop. Like, so I adjusted and I and I and I went on a 29 to 10 run. So to pick out the first half when I'm trying to adjust my game to a four dribble limit with a very, very respectable player in Will, who's very fast, is 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 mind boggling to me. I, I really don't I really don't agree with that one. I really think defense is one of my strong suits because when I go down big, I dig deep and I guard. When I go down big, I dig deep and I guard. Chad, am I tripping about that? Chad, am I tripping? Like, I have an example. I'm going to listen some more. He simply doesn't have the foot speed to be pressing so close to his defender, and smart opponents will take advantage of this. And to be fair to B. Ellis, he is in a tough situation. And this 1v1, right, I'm guarding J. Lou, and he makes jumpers this game. Credit to J. Lou. He made jumpers. The way I would adjust, I'm not going to say on camera right now, but he made jumpers. Credit to J. Lou. Since if he back but we're not going to sit here and act like I'm getting dog walked. I haven't played a 1v1 on YouTube where I've gotten dog walked like some people. 
I'm going to game threes down to the wire. I was learning how to close games in early in my YouTube career. I didn't know how to close. Backs up too much. He doesn't have the wingspan to contest jump shots on the perimeter. Overall, while he's not a terrible one-on-one -on -one defender, he's going to have a hard time stopping anyone. And this game that. right here, this game went 7-6, seven, 7-6, six, seven, six, seven, We're both checking each other. <laughs> LA Fitness role player tier. I just, and then, right, I also, listen. One. And look, I could pull up an example right here, y'all, for you guys when it comes down to defense. Like, I love playing defense. And also, I'm not a hack, right? I'm not a guy that's going to hack. Let me see. Right? I play clean defense. It's a 1v1 I played against Shannon. I was down. I was down 6-0 in the second spot. Let's see if I can find it for y'all real quick. Be quick, BLS. Don't take too long. People going to start leaving the live. This 1v1 right here, y'all. So it's six one in this spot. It's six one. It's six one in this spot, and I'm literally guarding to get myself back in the game. I'm broke. I'm I'm horrible. I don't make no shots in this game. But I'm checking up. And I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. But what I'm saying is that I've been in spots where I'm down 6-1 in a spot, down 6-0 in a spot, and I come back. So in my opinion, I don't think defense is – oh, it's, I'm not the best defender. Scar's a better defender. Dede is a better defender. Moon's a better defender. Charles a better defender. Trey's a better – like, I, there, there are better defenders on YouTube than me. But I don't think defense is just a flat-out weakness of mine. One slight flaw in BS. Now, this is a flaw. This is a flaw. This game is the degree of difficulty on his shots, especially compared to his opponent. Let's take his hook shot, for example. And I didn't beat notable guys. I didn't beat Will, beat Mike Harden. Will beat Moon. Will beat Moon. Pull. While the move is pretty, it's more difficult to hit a high arcing hook than it is to do a basic layup. Nah, my, my hooks, my hook's 70%. Pull up jumpers as well. While he's taking and sometimes making contested And I jumpers, beat D1 guys. Players like J. Lou and Nathan are able to generate way more open looks. This difference is often the difference between winning But and me losing. losing oh. Me losing these three 1v1s right here. Y'all gonna forever. Y'all gonna forever hold that over my head. Which I could care less about, honestly. All right, so before I get into BLS's one-on-one -on -one ranking, I do want to comment that I don't think he's really a one-on-one -on -one player to begin with. He can obviously score and compete in ones, but his strengths as a passer and a playmaker are really uncovered in a team setting. With that being said, I do have BLS ranked as a YouTube all-star right next to his... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Oh my gosh. Come on. God and T Jazz. If I could have anyone train me in the YouTube community, I'd probably pick Bielis. He seems to have every move in the book. He's dangerous out of the triple threat and off the dribble, and he can shoot the lights out of the ball. However, compared to some of the guys above him, I do think he has some difficulty generating easy buckets, and his limitations on defense can be more easily exploited. Still, let me know what you think about his game and comment below who I should scout next. To be honest with you, I don't really think the record. Nah, bro, I'm not. Listen, bro, I'm not tripping, bro. That's his opinion, bro. At the end of the day, this video is going to pay some of my bills. And that's what matters. Shout out Cash. Um, but, hey, if he want to have me as a YouTube all-star, bro, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not about to be mad over that. I know what I bring to the table. I know what I bring to the floor. At the end of the day, if we play in a 5v5 game, I'm getting picked over a lot of these niggas.
Yeah, <laughs> that's just a fact. If I, if we play in a five v five game, I'm getting picked over a lot of them. IQ, ability to take over a game, not selfish, gonna assist, gonna defend, gonna make the right play. I'm getting picked over a lot of them. But I'm not tripping, man. Listen. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to everybody that's watching, man. We're going to get back in this lab, though. I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I think I'm second team. I think I'm second team easy. Because uh, if, if y'all want to look at records, I mean, I went I went, I went, went three games with, with, with J. Lou, mm -hmm. and, I mean, I could go to the same frequency and watch J. Lou dog walk cam, so. I mean, it is what it is. All right, here we go. Well, 